Hello everyone, Mike here. The guys is Brian. Not these Welcome guys again. Jeez. Funko Fun TV. Yeah, Mike, we got a great show. For we and them slow on. Whatever pile they point. All right, that's more like it. And now, welcome to everyone's favorite game show, Pop Quiz. Introducing today's first contestant, our returning champ. Please welcome Jerry Baker. Contestant number two, everyone's favorite drive time DJ, Simon St. James. Now help me welcome contestant three, the king of the carnies, Earl Gator Johnson. That's right. Your co-host of Pop Quiz, the beautiful Bianca Lefleur. And now your host of Pop Quiz, Brian Martindale. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Johnny. Big round of applause for our lovely co-host, Bianca. And you guys, what an amazing studio audience. Thank you. Let's meet our contestants. Jerry says here you're an entertainment electronics engineer. What in the world is that? Well, I'm working with a company called Atari on something called a Videotronics game system. You know, it's like a game, like, like ping pong, but on your television screen. <laughs> it's for kids. It, it, it's going to be really fun. There's another one. Okay then, Jerry. Good luck with that. It sounds a little out there. Simon, we know you're a famous DJ. But how did you get your first start in showbiz? Well, let me tell you, baby, as you may or may not know, I'm formerly of the English band, The Mod Men. We were quite the hippest of the hipsters, baby, until those mop-top copycats came along and well, they stole our vibe now, didn't they? Ouch! That sounds like a sour note for sure. <laughs> Contestant three, Earl. I understand you like folk dancing and mud wrestling. Tell us more about that. First off, smart mouth, the name's Gator. Secondly, I run the Tilt-A-Whirl. I also do the sneak peek ride over at the Funko Fair. So, you better get that straight. Okay then, are you ready to play Pop Quiz? Categories are Soda, Movies and More, Star Trek, and Potpourri. Jerry, you're our returning champ. You pick first. <laughs> well, as coincidence may have it, <laughs> I'm wearing my lucky Star Trek pin today, and I can see on the board one of the categories is Star Trek. <laughs> I also have my lucky communicator, in case you got to phone a friend. <laughs> so, I'll take Star Trek for 100, Brian. Which Star Trek officer is known for having a friendly feline encounter? Jerry. That would be Spock. Brian. <laughs> Correct. That's right, Jerry. Funko presents Spock with Cat, as seen here as part of the new Star Trek pop release. Jerry, you're still in control. Okay, I'll take Star Trek for 200, Brian. On the USS Enterprise, who gives direct command and from where? Simon. That would be the Prime Minister, baby. Earl? That's Gator, bud. Jerry? D that would be Captain James T. Kirk on the bridge of the USS Enterprise in his captain's chair, Brian. <laughs> That's correct. The new Star Trek pop of Captain James T. Kirk in captain's chair on the bridge of the USS Enterprise. Now that's out of this world. Before we go any further, let's take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Hey everyone, this is Charles. It's been a long year and I'm missing all my friends, especially my Funko family. All the gatherings, cons, and everything that makes being a fanatic great. And I'm sure everyone's also missing this. Am I right or am I right? Keep collecting till we all meet in person once again. Stay safe and be well. Hey, 91 Shawnee. 
Uh, the reason why I love Funko is because it kind of brings me back to those great moments of me growing up with anime. I've watched anime for about 20 years now, and it's like the best memories I have with um, growing up with my brother. So because of that, um, you know, I just love that Funko where they started from with just like the Ichigo and the Attack on Titan pops and where they've grown from there. It's just they really cater to all the fandoms and I'm just glad that they kept anime going all these years. Funko to me is more than just about collecting the toys from your favorite fandom. It's about having a community and really a family that cares about each other and wants to make sure that we're all able to get the pieces we want. But also a company that cares as much about its fans and making sure that they're happy as we're excited about all the things that they do for us and how they make us happy. And now, back to more Pop Quiz! Welcome back to Pop Quiz. Jerry? You're still in control. Yeah, I'll take uh, uh, I'll take the potpourri for a hundred, Brian. This is a quote from a famous Disney movie about hockey. Fill in the blank. And when the wind blows hard and the sky is black, blank fly together. Simon. That would be buds, man. Jerry. Both the Klingon and Romulan ships fly at warp speed. So does the USS Enterprise. So therefore, all three fly together, Brian. Huh? Earl? Gator! And everyone knows, it's the ducks! <laughs> the ducks! Yeah! Yeah! Correct! That's right! A complete line of Disney's The Mighty Ducks Pops coming your way soon from Funko, including Charlie, Goldberg, Adam, Fulton, and Coach Bombay. Let's go Ducks! Earl, I mean Gator, you have the board. I'll, you know, I'll try the, I'll try the potpourri for a couple hundred, Brian. Which mad character is known for saying, what, me worry? Simon. Actually, Brian, I was known for saying that I played in a little club in 1964 just outside of Manchester with Tom Jones. And I told my bandmates backstage, I said, what? Me worry? Nope. Jerry. That would be Sulu, Ryan. Nope. Really? Wrong category, Jerry. Looks like you're on a, another planet. <laughs> Gator. Do I look worried? Huh? You think I look worried, you punk? No, I ain't worried about nothing. Nope. Well, Johnny, what was the right answer here? Ah, don't worry. The correct answer is the new Alfred E. Newman Pop, brought to you by Funko and Mad TV. Gator, you're the last contestant to get a right answer. To you. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna go with Sodi for 100. Yeah. Ed Roth created this rotten rodent that symbolizes kooky car culture. Gator. Right here, you got him right here, Brian. <laughs> the rap fink, you got it? Rap fink. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Check out this latest soda release from Funko. It's rap fink. This rockin' rodent is no stranger to danger. Gator, choose please. I'll try movies and more for a hundred, Brian. Fill in the blank from this summer teen dance movie mega blockbuster. Nobody puts blank in the corner. Simon. Why it's the Queen of England, Brian. Jerry. Ohura. Nobody puts her in the corner. Cater. Any idea on this one? Oh, baby. Correct! From the famous movie starring Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey, Funko brings you the new Dirty Dancing Pops, cause nobody puts Funko in the corner. Okay, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back after these messages. What's up fanatics, Kim here, AKA Funko Kimmy-ish on Twitter and Instagram. Just wanted to pop in and give two big shout outs. One to Funko for creating all of these awesome little vinyl figures that we've come to love and enjoy so much. Second, to the Tough Fam. You've all been super nice, like super kind, awesome, amazing, creative people. I hope to see you guys one day at a con or a fun day sometime soon. 
Hey everyone, this is Scott, Sarcastic Guy on the Boards. Hi, I'm Nicola, Pink Lacquer on the Boards. Just want to give a big shout out to all the fanatics. We miss you. Hopefully we'll be seeing you again soon. Absolutely. So big shout out to our friends, the Funko Fanatics in the Philippines, Tough and FGV. Hope everyone stays safe and I hope this year is a better one for all of us. Bye. Hi, I'm Ryan, otherwise known as Rise Pops or Rise Funko on IG and Ryan Burns C on TikTok. I've been collecting for over eight years and have over 800 Funko pieces in my collection. My favorite part about Funko has to be the community. I know people all around the world just because I collect Funko Pops. That's amazing. Who would have thought? Anyways, thanks so much for the shout out Funko and shout out to the Toy Squad and the United Funko family. Have a great day. Welcome back to Pop Quiz. Now a word from Bianca. Our contestants will receive one of these never before seen lovely Loungefly mini backpacks featuring this cosplay Ratatouille. Also, check this out. The gang's all here on this new Zootopia backpack featuring a chenille patch and embroidered details. Last but not least, we have Star Wars The Mandalorian with Swiveling Feature. Now, back to Brian and Pop Quiz! Okay, let's check our contestants' totals and see where we are. Jerry, you have 300. Simon, you have zero. And Earl, you have 300. It, it's Gator. Here, I'll make it real easy for you, okay? Gator. Okay, Gator. <laughs> Please choose your topic. I'll try. I'll try movies and more for 200. <laughs> okay, our first video clue of the day. Let's go to the screen. Hey guys, I am Joe Taslim. I play a character that you don't want to get a cold shoulder from. I can assure you, it can be an icy experience. Jessica McNamee here. And I gotta tell you, the energy that I give out could be fatal. Hmm. It might just end you. Hi, I'm Louis Tan. I may be new to this tournament, but I was born for combat. Guess what movie we're from? Jerry! That would be Sub-Zero, Sonya Blade, and Cole. All from the new Mortal Kombat movie. Correct! I'm hoping that they have Scorpion too. <laughs> That's right, the new Mortal Kombat movie coming this April. Get the complete line of Mortal Kombat pops featuring Sonya Blade, Cole, Sub-Zero, Sub-Zero Glow, and Sub-Zero Metallic. And yes, Jerry, Scorpion, Scorpion Unmasked, and Scorpion Crouching as played by Hiroyuki Sanada. Okay, Jerry, you've got the board. I'll take soda for 200, Brian. What character in this animated Disney feature film uttered this unforgettable quote? It will be bold, dramatic, heroic. Simon. That would be that groovy gal pal Edna Mode from The Incredibles, Brian. Correct. Stay in style with this new soda figure. Edna Mode from Disney Pixar's The Incredibles, coming down a runway to you soon. Simon, to you. I'm going to take the potpourri, Brian, for 300, please. This Marvel creator, Simon. That would be Stan Lee. You got it. The superhero Stan Lee soda figure is yours from your friends at Funko. It's with Refreshingly fun! Simon, you're on a roll, and you're in control. Well, Brian, as Simon says, <laughs> I'll take soda for 300, baby. Oh, that's the sound of the plus prize payoff. Whoever answers this question properly will receive not only the $300, but a bonus prize. Contestants, are you ready? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. This TV show features a marvelous monkey as it's... Simon. Curious George. Oh, Gator. Miguel Gorilla. Jerry. Pogo. Pogo from Umbrella Academy. 
For correctly answering this plus prize payoff question, Jerry will receive all of the latest Funko soda releases, including Pogo from the Umbrella Academy, Edward Scissorhands, Mojo Jojo from the Powerpuff Girls, Super Chicken. Why, he'll get the whole family of new soda figures. And now here's our co-host Bianca with a special surprise announcement for our studio audience. All studio guests from today's show will receive one of these two new Fungo games. Face off against your friends with this ESPN sports trivia game. Or play Seinfeld, the party game about nothing. Now back to you, Johnny. Thanks, Bianca. They'll also get one of these Star Wars exclusives. Choose between Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi, which comes with a beautiful matching pin. Available only from Amazon. Back to you, Brian. Oh, that sound means we're running out of time. So this will be our last question. Okay, let's just get a quick tally here. Jerry, you're our leader with 800. Simon, you're second with 500. And Gator, we may be saying later, to you with only 300. Watch it, bud. Treading on thin ass. Jerry, you have a commanding lead and control of the board. I'll take Star Trek for 300 and the win, Brian. <laughs> oh, it's double points. Okay, here we go. This makes it interesting. This one question now will be worth $600 and could determine today's winner. If none of you answer this question correctly, Jerry would retain his championship. Otherwise, the winner would be the one who answers this question right. Okay, I got it. Contestants, this is the big one. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready, I'm ready. In what Star Trek episode is the crew mysteriously swapped? Jerry. That would be turnabout intruder, Brian. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jerry. That would be swapped for evil counterparts. Simon. From Russia with love, if I'm not mistaken. You are mistaken, Simon. Gator, any guesses here? Otherwise, Jerry will be our winner. Gator, we need an answer. You can do it, Gator. Gator, we need an answer. To prevent that, we would die, Captain, as a race, if necessary. I admire your ethics and hope to prove our. Gator, it's summertime. Okay, Mom, right after Star Trek. Gator, we need an answer. October 6th, 1967. Second season, fourth episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah the, the crew was swapped with evil counterparts in a parallel universe. There was a transporter malfunction on the bridge. That's right. That, it's Mirror Mirror. Mirror Mirror. <laughs> Champion! Yeah. Yes, mirror, 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 mirror! <laughs> Gator, you will receive the entire line of Star Trek pops, including Uhura, Sulu, Spock, and Kirk in Mirror Mirror costumes, as well as all the other Star Trek releases from Funko! In addition, you have also won this new Chrysler Cordoba and a trip for two to Reno, Nevada, the biggest little city in the world. <laughs> you hear that, Mama? We're going to Reno. <laughs> Bianca, 
you want to go? I won, I won, I won. I'm still going to Reno, mama. I'll see you. Gator wins. <laughs> Gator wins. We'll see you next time on.